میبینی که فوتوژ کو هو گورس گسید ایشو کوم اوی راوت سوتم گو بینو که الانده ده شانس کی فوت تو کرایت ما که 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 ای شو کوم وتو Másuk akkor mivel is folytassuk? Tanuljuk ki a Expelliarmus-t. A Crossman-t ez nagyon nehéz. Egy ilyen kín az sokáig fog tartani, mi így jövő megszerzően. Később jó lesz. Come on. Ne, hosszú úton kell menni. Mindig is kell a talpa. Hajt már abba, elég! Megint ott szakodik! Hagyd már abba! 
Kurwa, aka I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Szóval lefegyverzést jelent. Szóval az is kárt képes okozni, de most mit használjuk fel? Mondjuk ezt. But keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. I'm afraid that they're not alone. Most astrology. That's my thing. I'm pretty sure. Csinálni, túl nehéz. Hmm. Meg van. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. What's that you're doing, Kay? Herbology. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again. Oh, yeah, I think he likes that professor. Um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. <laughs> Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. Because <laughs> you want. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. 
The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bong. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? First, let's protect our ears. Okay, The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting the seeds at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knot grass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Mine, I'm actually getting dead. I'll say. Nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. So, uh, is it now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Nifflers fancy, or roses? Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Hát ennek ez így hátul tője, az, hogy ha bár létre az új növényeket, de várni kell vele. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. So harapnak a káposztát. <laughs> no, the ears harapos káposztát. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Yes. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me. Your jewel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, oh. thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have. 
If Hecate hadn't stopped me, didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb once. Don't worry. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? Second, I mean, of course. You're uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and Death Cap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants, too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. Oh, that's... I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. We must first understand it. That goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse. Nee, ich bleib's wohl mal. Ist das schon jemand da? Und die waren bis zu schon China, okay. Handy Rebellion, indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. What are you up to now? I 
transition rule. majd valami. Két perc múlva. Na csak ez. Hát ez nem lehet ugrani. Let's move me. Ah, passe, passe. Yo soy easy. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Must be a portion. Off on another adventure, are we?
Rebellion. Rebe Most ő is, amint kitaláljuk az itat, még jobb előnyt tévezik. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal Seriously some good, injuries, we? but not all. Point for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. Let's you never get know this when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. So I'm not too sensitive. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Yes. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. Yes. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. So My parents considered keeping me home from school after the yeah. rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close so to me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be Weasley everywhere. Professor. Listen, anyone with a troll sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it.
Very well. I'll bring you a fruit and feather. Brilliant! Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Revelio. Remember, precision is key when brewing potions. So bad thing again. Here's the fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. So first we get Adurus uh, Should you chop the didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Alcohol club juice. Massima, on the proof, focus, invisibility. No, you all think about it. No one second. Get it, And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Get it! Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. So I'm going to get Dasha. I brewed the Duras potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced skeptical. nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Yes,
It's like a place right out of a storybook. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath, Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. So Might we'll you be the one with to help uh, me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Hmm. Mm. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. We are fast. Go in there. Find that all on. Dog ball. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is.
Nie wiem, co ukryj dalej. A! Od to. Tu jest też. Już zalałem. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did, but it wasn't easy. I shall need to be compensated. I see. That's fair, I suppose. A reward, so to speak, for finding the buried treasure. Thank you for recovering it. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Nie ma ani bela Merlin Trail, bo ona udzisze. They must have come this way. Think. No idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I don't know. Rook would don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupefied! Go to the gook. There you are. Spelling off. Ah, c'est tel mais il bosse encore trop sur elle. La moitié de la vie est bon. Mi van? Miért nem történik semmi? Rebellion. Ez nem tolerálom. Yes, the 
tenemos. Miért nem történik semmi? Akkor miért bagol? Tudjunk semmi. De miért nem? I have no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be sick. <clears throat> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid back! Bakó, senki nem jön ide. Nem tudom folytatni a hatot, hogy itt csak bakos. Csétem! Ve szaros bagez!
Revelio. Levioso. Incendio. Nem tudnék semmi. Csak ki mit történik, hogyha ezt te jött csinálom. Megpróbálok úgy, hogy abandon quest. Taking your life before you. Come on, all you want. You will not survive. Miért tudik semmi? Ő nem sötét bázó. Az bágos nem tudom végig. Kovács ki újra, de más. Nem szabad elmenteni így darabig. They must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a dog shit nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid Incendio. Your life, Incendio. What are you doing? Tudta, hogy bág. No! Mi ez? No, most már nem bagolt. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. 
It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has a shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I'm not sure old vine-covered pillars are worth studying. Well, I think anything concerning Merlin is worth pursuing, and I shall have you know. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if the Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these piles. The flames make the pyre sink. There we go, unlock. How beautiful! Yeah, yeah, do it again. Hey, it's not you. What a day! I can hardly believe it. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Yes. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books.
línea de guis. Pero es un efecto aquí, está bastante. 